fragments. All he really has, though, is that Void Rave. The uh, uh, main force out here in the front is uh, just chilling, and it's too far and too too cumbersome for him to get back there. But once he does get out a few... Well, actually, no, he's going for Phoenixes. Those are also good against air and faster to get out as well. Um, very, very fast so they can maneuver around and get to where they're needed to very quickly as well to counter these Mutalisks. Um, and it looks like TT1 has taken an expansion over here. Um, Mike gets shut down, attacking two fronts. The Mulus from one side, the Zerglings coming out after the expansion from the other. They're target firing the expansion. Force field's going down all around the Nexus. Oh, he sh I think he should have kept going on that. Um, because that Nexus was almost dead. Oh, never mind. Duh. He can come back in with the Mutas. There goes the Nexus. Muta is not affected by the force fields. Uh, anyway, so nicely done by um, Master Asia going in and picking off that expansion, running with the Mutas, um, which weren't taking a ton of damage because only half this army, less than half the army, is anti... Uh, half the army is anti-air. Um, so they were able to attack, and in the meantime, the Zerglings coming in doing massive damage to the Nexus. And I like that jumping back in with the Mutas just when TT1 thought it was safe to put up a cannon and... Uh, <clears throat> And finishing it off. Anyway, lots of upgrades going on back here for for Master Asia. I'm curious to see if he's going to start going for a third base or not uh, before too long to try and keep up ahead of uh, TT1 right now. We see more drones going up uh, at the moment. Both players about even an army count, so it's just going to come down to a composition thing. And I think right now at the moment TT1 has a better army composition. Um, you know, with all these uh, uh, zealots and such. Uh, I think we're going to have to see a Roach Warren from Master Asia pretty soon. Get some Roaches into the mix. No sign of it yet. He's just all Mutaling at this point. And that is it. Just Mutalisks and Lings. And here come the Mutalisks trying to go into the main here. Phoenixes need to turn around and uh, go after the Mutalisks. But there are a ton of Mutalisks there going after these Phoenix, chasing them back into the base. Phoenix is falling back, trying to survive just long enough to get more forces out. In the meantime, TT1 attacking the ground. Both players attacking each other, basically. And uh, where are all those Zerglings? The Zerglings are attacking the natural expansion and streaming into the main as well. So TT1 is just trying to spawn things into his main as quickly as possible. I don't think it's quite going to work there. Though the Phoenixes are not going to be able to deal with these Zerglings, so both players owning the crap out of each other's expansions. I think that Master Asia actually has the advantage, though, because he is in the main. He's killed off the natural expansion very quickly. All these probes, what are they doing? They're just sitting there dying. Oh, it's the slaughterhouse. All these probes just chilling there on this one mineral pile, just dying and dying and dying. And here comes, and look at this, massive spine crawlers have been put down here in the main. Uh, just as a last ditch effort. Here come the Zealots. If they can finish off these Spine Crawlers in time. No, he cancels all the Spine Crawlers um, since he figured they were going to die from those um, Zealots. What is going to happen here? A single Mutalisk is out. That one Mutalisk could save the day, could win the game here as these Zealots go to work on the Queen. They're attacking the Queen, trying to go after the drones as well. Uh, tons of drones slaughtering everything. In the meantime, somehow TT1 has held this off. I have no idea how he's held this off. Um, but he's managed to warp in units slowly and uh, and, uh, and and managed to get things up. But what does he have? Uh, where is where's the unit composition? No probes for TT1. TT1 has no nexus and no probes. It is all up to this counterattack to see what happens. And I'm sorry I missed it there. Somehow, oh, they built a couple spine crawlers behind the lines. Nice. While he was dealing with all those drones. And it looks like they finished off the... Um, the zealots that were in the main there. So this is it. It comes down to this attack. This army. If this army can somehow beat TT... I'm sorry, Master Asia's army. He doesn't have a queen. He's got a couple spine crawlers. He's got a couple mulisks. He's got uh, a handful of zerglings. Uh, 16, 18 zerglings there. And here it comes. It's all going to come down to this battle. Everything will be decided here. He's going to try and move in and just attack these evil chambers. But I think Master Asia knows those evil chambers don't matter. He comes in with the lings. Does not surround? The force field's going off. Forcing those zerglings off of the stalkers. So they can only get on one side. Beautiful force fields keeping the lings off of all the units. This zealot is just chilling in that gap. Killing zerglings. And TT1 manages to beat all of the zerglings. Just absolutely destroy them. Spine crawler is near the other as well, but it is very, very close because Master Rage still has um, units here. A corruptor is here. Very interesting. Um, there's no air unit, so I'm not sure exactly what the corruptor is doing. It can only attack air uh, unless it's got some kind of a spell that I'm. Corruption. I guess it can cover with slime. It can morph to a broodlord. Oh, that might be why. But he needs a greater spire. He doesn't have a greater spire. He's got no minerals uh, right now either. So this might be it. Uh, that Corruptor is not doing that. Oh, those Phoenixes were in the back. 
They're going to come in and try and deal with this Muter. The Corruptor, I guess, was for the um, Phoenixes, I guess. Um, drones now fighting against these units. He's having to fall back. A couple more Zealots come in. Uh, he'd lost his um, Nexus, but he didn't lose uh, his Warp Gate, so he still had those. Here comes in the last spine, second to last spine crawler goes down. There's one more spine crawler. He's going to have to try and attack with drones. He needs to fall back and only fight those within range of the spine crawler. Um, it looks as if this Corruptor has gotten two kills on it. It's taken out both of the, um, uh, excuse me, both of the, um, uh, Phoenixes. But, uh, wow, look at this. Two Zealots and two, uh, uh, sentries. It is all coming down to this. He's only got this one spine crawler and four drones. He's trying to mine a little bit more minerals. Oh, he tries to block him from reaching the the mineral uh, the hatcher with the mineral patch. He's gonna have to move his spine crawler over. That could be doomed though. The spine crawlers take forever to move in there. The force field is blocking him from getting his zealous next to the spine crawler though. Is the spine crawler gonna get down fast enough to attack these units? Picks off one of the sentries. It's gonna own the other sentry as well. It's just oh, the two zealots left. Two zealots left, and does he have anything, anything at all? One corruptor, oh, one corruptor, oh my gosh, one corruptor, and it's uh, not even. Oh, he's got one zergling. He's running his zerglings and one drone <laughs> versus these two zealots at full hit points. I think TT1 is gonna take the game here. Um, wow, and I guess he moved around here so he'd have a little bit better position. He could get in between these buildings if he needed to. Um, one drone and one zergling. I'm not sure what they think they can do. Two zerglings, actually. So two zerglings meeting up there um, against these two zealots. Uh, I this does not look good at all for Master Asia. And maybe he's, he should try and maybe mine these minerals and bring them back slowly. Get um, nope, never mind. There goes his lair. So, oh, he's waiting for the broodlings! Waiting for the broodlings! The broodlings trying to surround! The broodlings surrounding one of the zealots! Oh, he kills one zealot! Well, the other zealot has no more shields left! The one zergling is almost dead, so it's gonna have to run away. The drone, uh, oh man! He was waiting for the broodlings! That's hardcore! I didn't even think about that. The broodlings come out when you kill buildings. So now, the zealot can't really kill any other buildings. He has to kill these forces first. He's trying to kill that drone. The Zergling is going to outrun it, but the drone uh, is apparently going to get away as well. But if he kills off another building when the Broodlings pop out... Um, and look at this. <laughs> TNT1 says, I'm not attacking you, lol. Because if he attacks, then... then <laughs> If he attacks, he'll die. He can't attack anything. Because if he does, he'll die. Um, because the Broodlings will kill that one Zealot. Um, so, wow, that is amazing. And the, so this one Zergling is going to try and slowly pick off um, every building. Uh, oh, oh, Zergling, run away! Run away, Zergling! Oh, four hit points on that Zergling! Oh man, Corruptor is still in play. He's got a uh, corruption ability, covers target enemy and Zerg slime, increasing damage by 20%. Okay, that's cool. I guess he can cast that on the on the Zealot if he ever um, kills another building again, but that's probably not going to happen. Uh, anyway, what's going on here? He's got some overlords. He's moving in. Really not sure what either player player can do at this point. Um, Oh, maybe the, are these guys generating creep? All his buildings are going to die. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that for a moment. If Zerg buildings are not on creep, they die. Um, so apparently not extractors, though. They slowly bleed to death. Um, and it looks like he... Oh, he did have uh, generate creep on, and he's going to generate creep around these buildings to save them. <laughs> uh, TT1 says, what now? Master Asia says, hmm, don't know.